Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. What's up? I'm Rick Falcon here on the Century Sparrow. I guess probably wondering who I am. It's right. I'm a loose cousin to that Han Solo dude. And you know, I've got a cheaper version of the Millennium Falcon, hence the Century Sparrow. But well, that's not why we're here today. First thing off, I want to just give some advice to people out there. You know, a lot of people out there believe in the force and all this stuff. And I just want to give some advice, you know, to all you kiddies out there. Kids, trust me. You just need what's in your heart and a trusty IR blaster. You know, or if you come from some red deck place, you know, damn 22 always works good for me, son. Yippee! -ha! So check this out. Why are we really here? We've got some really cool 50 cent streets headphones by SMS. Now these things are the Stormtrooper. That's right, the Stormtrooper Star Wars Streets Edition. Now, I just wanna state right off the bat that these headphones are really a collector's item. Now, yes, they are headphones. They've got 40 millimeter drivers. They've got some really cool things that eliminate the outside noise. So you've got some cool things going on there. The plastic's supposed to be super duper durable and twisting all around that. But to be quite honest with you, I think most folks and like me included, people who like, like to collect things aren't probably going to be taking these things out and dragging them around. You're probably gonna get them, look at them real quick and put them on a shelf and go, look, they go with my other Star Wars collectibles. But with that said, these things are 199 bucks. I've got them right here in my hand and uh, we're gonna unbox them, listen to them and uh, see what they're all about. I think they're a collector's item. At the end of the video, let's hear what you have to say. Let's go. All right, folks, so let's move over now to the box. And like I said, to me, this is kind of a collector's item. I have some pretty cool Star Wars stuff. This is a couple of things I have. Now, this is pretty cool. It's a pencil sharpener, candy dispenser thing, all in one. You bop off the head, then in the inside in here, you've got some candies. For all you kitties out there, you've got the old candies. I keep them in there because I just figure, what the heck, keep it as original as possible. All Star Wars dispenser with candy. Now. I also have this one. This one's like one of the actual oldest I have. Darth Vader on one side, Yoda on the other. Nice Star Wars stuff. Been collecting this stuff since a kid, have lots of it. So now, these headphones, also once again, we see Star Wars First Edition Street. On-ear wired headphones. These are also the 50 cent brand. So let's go ahead and start unboxing them. So I guess we'll just show you guys all the box. We'll show you it. It's kind of glossy, so I might as well just take this stuff off. A lot of times the camera will tell me it's so glossy we can't even see it. So I'll pull this stuff off here first so then we can actually get a better view of the box without glaring inside of your face. Sound like a plan? All right. All right, so it's done. We've got this stuff right here, and we'll do the usual voila at the cameraman. And that didn't hurt him. All right. So front of the box, you guys already saw that. Now on the side, these are the Stormtrooper editions. Now, I didn't have a cool costume like these guys. I had to make up my own little cheesy, uh, you know, Rick uh, Solo costume. But hey, I'm rolling with it. Here's the back of the box. Once again, just has stuff about them all. We'll just get a close-up of that real quick just for you folks so you guys can just see it. I know how some people are. They like to check everything out. For those who are into the everything, we'll hear some of the everything. Spinning around on this side, we see the headphones themselves, and once again, just telling us of the first edition Stormtrooper SMS audio headphones. So let's pop the cap out. I think this thing just pops off or lifts out one or the other. Oh, well, oh, that's it, just lifts out. So I'm just going to keep that over there. Oh, isn't that lovely? Shake and bake. Nope, how do I just use my hand then? Nope, nope, nope. All right, there we go. So I can punch it through. All right, so we're back. Continuing along, all right. Oh, wait, all right. Little blue box. What am I thinking about, folks? The first person who tells me what I'm thinking about and you get it right, I'll send you a prize. It's a blue box, it's a program that I love to watch. Let's see if anybody gets where I'm going with this. Flip the cap, kaboom. We see all of our favorite characters here and the brands that they're carrying. They've got the Luke Skywalker. They call him the Rebel Alliance, but it's, you know, little Lukey right there. The Stormtrooper, obviously. The Galactic Empire, Mr. Vader himself, and then Boba Fett. Now, how come Boba Fett gets his own name, but our boys Luke and Darth have to be called Rebel and Galactic? I feel these boys are being ripped off. Stormtrooper, I don't know, he's kind of generic, but that's cool. But Boba Fett, what's up? It's all the popularity, Boba. Somebody's going to be jealous out there. All right, then we flip the cap there. You guys can see we have football... 
<laughs> Cameron actually took two steps backwards on that one. He thought I was serious. Ha <laughs> ha. Just joke in there, mister. Anything else in there? Anything on the bottom? Nope. All right. Nothing on the bottom in there. So we'll just go ahead and move the blue box out of the way. Get this out of there. Kaboom, kaboom. And out of the way, let's check out what the rest is in there. All right. So right here is a pack with a bunch of cool stuff. We'll go ahead and open this up so everybody can see all the cool stuff that comes in here. I know there's like a poster and like a bunch of cool stuff. So we'll just traverse through it and see. It's a little bit sticky there to get it out of there. So pull and get some more stuff. Yada, yada, yada. That's actually sticking to this pretty well. While I'm trying to get out of there, it's sticking to everything I'm trying to pull out. Now, I think this must be the poster. All right. So let's just start off with uh, whatever. This just tells where they are. They're distributors. No one probably really cares too much about that. What is this thing right here? Now, this is either, either be going to be a cleaning cloth or a carrying type product. I don't know which one. And uh, it's, it's this stuff is super duper sticky. In fact, I have not seen stuff this sticky before. I'm having one of a time with the sticky here. There we go. Sticky, sticky, sticky. So what do we got going on here? So cleaning cloth or back? <laughs> All right. It's a cleaning cloth. So there we go. We get the Star Wars cleaning cloth. In fact, I'll go up here and just... Uh, Now I can see you folks clear. So the next up, we got the SMS audio. There's just like a book explaining all about the Star Wars stuff and congratulating you on buying them, saying, hey, congratulations, you just spent 200 bucks. I hope you're happy. But I think some people will be happy because the people who look at this the right way will be cool. So actually, this is kind of cool, though, because their quick start guide, it pretty much just tells all about the headphones, what they're about, kind of redundant stuff, tells about the audio wire, the microphone, all that kind of stuff, about listening to music, you know. <laughs> FAQ, I actually, I'm kind of blind. I thought it was FRO for a second. I was like, what the heck, FRO? That's kind of a weird one, but uh, <laughs> that's because I got my glasses on. But all the information stuff's inside of that. Here is the certificate of authenticity, all those big words. You guys can see that, all part of the collector's item thing. Set that off the side. Then we get stickers. Check this out. Stickers, stickers, stickers. So if you know that, you got stickers, Star Wars stickers for your car. I'm not going to take any of this stuff off because I like to collect my collectibles like collectibles and keep everything intact. I honestly wish I didn't even have to open up the plastic bags. That's just me, but uh, I want you folks to see it, so I'm doing it. And here's the poster. This for one. So we got a big poster right here. Got ourselves uh, three of these guys right here shooting at somebody. Probably some Rebel Alliance scum. They're probably shooting at some Rebel Alliance scum. So anyways, folks, beyond the poster and all this stuff that we just saw right here, now we'll move on and we will take a look at the headphones themselves and then we will gently put all this stuff back away. You guys can see it comes completely in its own little football like carry case, which is pretty cool, it's pretty durable. It says Star Wars on it. Star Wars. Now, I heard that Carrie Fisher was making a porno and she was going to be calling it Star Wars, but I don't have any official announcement on that as of yet. We'll have to hear that out. So we'll pull that out or put it in, whatever Carrie's wanting these days. Open up, you can see everything's sealed in a nice plastic bag. Pop them out. Internally in the shell, we see once again the Star Wars nomenclature present. The SMS is on the little zipper. And we shall move on to the headphones. Ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Two little pieces of uh, something in there. I don't know what the heck they were for. What the heck? Done with the camera because he looked like he would like them. All right. So, wow. Okay. These things are very, 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 very light. And I have to say, they have the very, very, and I don't mean this in an insulting way, but these have the very, very super duper uh, kind of Chinese feel. <laughs> They're. They're all right, though. Remember I said that the plastic they use in these is supposed to be very, very flexible, like unbreakable. And I could definitely, you know, you guys can see that. I mean, this thing's twisted. Like, I can almost twist it in a pretzel, and it's not hurting it. In the center, we see a single padded band that's going to go on the head. Then we see the two cups. Inside of here are the 40-millimeter drivers, one on each side. They're flexible for folding up, as we saw before. There is a cable right here with a microphone attached to it as well. So you could be listening to these and while you're listening to these things, you could answer your phone or whatever that you need to do. Let me pop this out of there. The 
cables are usually about three to four feet long. Go ahead and just pull it out all the way. Let you guys see it. I'm sure there'll be a question about how long the cable is. So looks like, yeah, looks like it's about, I don't know, maybe this might actually be a five foot cable. So right here in the end, you can see an indicator button and this right here, that'll tell you if it's plugged in and working right. Here's the other connection. We also have the microphone and the level adjuster on here. And then I guess from there, let's hear how, how these things sound and then let's see how they feel on my head. All right, folks, since I saw you guys last, I've been listening to some different music, rocking out to the human zoo right now. And I have to say that these things are entirely comfortable. You can put them on your head and probably go to sleep and forget about them because they weigh virtually nothing. Now, as far as the audio reproduction goes though, very, very bassy. Everything that we play back for you guys, we leave the equalizer at flat. Obviously with some changes around, you could increase the treble and everything, but just like basically out of the box, these are some of the basiest damn headphones I've ever heard. Now for gaming, this would probably be pretty damn cool. You wanna hear all the explosions and all that shiznick? So for gaming, these things are probably gonna be pretty damn good. But as far as music goes, eh, I don't know. I don't think they're my favorite thing for just listening to audio, but you know what? Let's let you guys listen to them. What do you think? All right, rockers, there you guys have it, rocking out once again to the benchmark song. Now, a lot of you guys ask about our music out there. Well, we actually developed our entire music website using Squarespace. With over 20 different customizable themes and templates that you can use all drag and drop action, this is one really killer, incredible way to get your media website up and rolling quick. And what's even cooler, I know a lot of people don't have a normal schedule, so these guys have incredible 24-hour customer service. So you're one of those New Yorkers in the city that never sleeps? Hey, there'll be somebody there at tech support to answer your call and help you get through those difficult times of setting up your website. So if that sounds good to you, check this out. You can get even more savings. At the checkout counter, enter the code TOT. You get a free trial period, and if you want to keep it, you get 10% off of the price. Awesome stuff. All right, folks. So there you guys have it. I want to say once again, thank you very much to the people over at Squarespace for helping bring that video to you today. Also, like I said, these SMS 50 cent headphones, they're much more to my eyes, a collector's item than any type of audiophile product. My personal opinion, and I think a lot of you will share it, if you're not into Star Wars at all, and you're especially not into 50 cents, then I would avoid these things you know, and not get them. If you have $199 and you're looking for a Star Wars collectible though, that still works and functions and has an all around product, well, this might be something really cool for you. If you're an audiophile guy and you got 199 bucks and you want to buy some headphones that are going to sound the absolute best, these aren't the best headphones for 199 by nine bucks. Trust me, you can get some better ones. But for a collector's item, they are what they are. And is there a true price on a collector's item? Because if it's a truly collectible item, if you collect it, it become worth much more. So in essence, if you have these, keep them in their box and you buy them strictly as a collectible item, they should only increase with value. And since Lucas is pouring more money, making more Star Wars movies, hopefully they're not shitty. Just saying, you know what I'm saying? If they're really good movies, then hey, there'll be more blood pumped back once again to the Star Wars universe and these headphones will become even more valuable. So that's it. They're 199 bucks. If you guys are collectibles out there and you guys love the Star Wars universe and uh, 
you know you're like me you got your little toys and stuff you like to collect then this might be something that you're looking for i'm elric thanks once again for watching tech of tomorrow and thanks to squarespace for bringing this video possible peace see you rockers later